It's Tuesday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo of Olabi Brand as always. I don't do this alone. I have my co-hosts here with me. Hi ladies. Hello, Morayo. Alaja, this one you're doing Alaja for us today. What's this I'm one? Saying the salam I'm saying it's the salam. It's public holiday. Talking about salam. I didn't even greet my family. You know I'm from a Muslim family. Ah. I didn't greet a lot of people. Let me start with you. How are you doing? Okay, me, me I'm greeting everybody today. <laughs> I'm greeting my parents. I went there yesterday. It's so amazing whenever we gather. And I see my father's grandchildren are so many. Mm -hmm. Everybody's shouting, Grandpa. It seems like just like he's their mates. It's so <laughs> down, their to mates, down to her. Everybody can talk to him. And I just, you know, feel humbled. I hope that um, he lives longer, that God yeah. grants him longer years. And my mom, too. And, you know, they see more of their children's children. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. That's a blessing. Yes, good. Big one. Topsy, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm still trying to get myself. Um, I'm grateful to God and I'm in a very, very happy place. Um, I'm living my message. So I'm embodying self-love. And it's surprising to some people around me because I'm really, really comfortable with myself unlike ever before. So I'm happy. I'm not, I'm not one to say practice what like, I'm preaching and I'm not doing it. So I feel good that I'm doing what I'm saying people should do. Right. Accept yourself. Fantastic that you're accepting your tall self. <laughs> so welcome to the club. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Um, happy, How's your trip? happy Salah. Fantastic. I had a fun, um, fun time. And um, we're preparing for yes, so my children's valedictory service. Oh. Which one are you looking for? You no, know, I thought we finished SCW. Now oh, we're doing okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our no, no, no. We're doing in September. We're doing yeah. um, a tournament for children in right. September. It's promising to be fantastic. fantastic. So that's the next. Because that's the whole idea. The goal right. is after that tournament, you should be able to say, hmm, I got some good right. school fees for my children, especially for the people that cannot afford it. So we're going there. We're heading there. <laughs> yeah, so me, I want to greet my people. Yes, Fuja family. Yeah, I, I, I know them. Know. <laughs> my uncles, uh, Mr. Alaji Muda Shiro, Fuja. Fuja. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alaji Waidi, Fuja. <laughs> my auntie, uh, Auntie Biola, Fuja. <laughs> and uh, my other auntie, Mrs. Ramota Erogugu. Those, those are four members of my family that I know very clear, closer to us. And uh, happy Salah. Okay, so let me greet my own people too. A mia shop where, right? You planned it. Yes. Let me greet my people, Morenike and um, Larry as, as well. They are Muslims, right. and I think um, who else again? Are they party? I didn't do anything. Uh, Morenike was. I was supposed to. We were supposed now. to go to her house yesterday. What's your problem? Because it's you're not, not cooking, doesn't mean people are not cooking. Okay, you know if you come visiting, of course I cook. <laughs> but it's not this one that you don't be carrying food. You should have brought meat for me at least. Not this for people that you help people who don't have less privilege. So you are. Privilege. I don't have. I want to go and eat meat. Right. <laughs> Anyways, so today is Wednesday, right? It's oh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Well, stop crying. Let's take a break. <laughs> and we come back we'll look at the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> the punch. <laughs> Bachelor attacks National Assembly. You have stuck worrisome knowledge. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Minister tells <laughs> lawmakers. Says legislators more interested in boreholes than building highways. No concession agreements on Lagos Ibadan Expressway Second Niger Bridge. Picture here of uh, seven suicide bombers killed nine in Unimade others. Harsh verdict awaits on qualified candidates. Supreme Court tells political parties. We have not released names of local government candidates, says Lagos APC. Army meets Taraba monarchs, LG officials over killings. Customs generated 239 billion naira revenue in Q1, says ministry. Kidnappers, ritual killers then uncovered beside Ondo Assembly. <laughs> FG seeks $5 billion from World Bank to boost power. PDP governors back APC governors call for restructuring. Hmm. And Salah message, Buhari's choice of Hausa, wrong, says Rep Majority Leader, Chief Whip and others. Right, so our mm -hmm. Minister of... Um, hmm. Is that what we're taking first? Let's yes. see the human angle. No? The human angle, okay, go ahead. Um, the, in those states, they discovered what is seen to be as a kidnapper's den um, linked with ritual killings. It is two buildings away from the state's House of Assembly and... Um, what they notice is the building has been abandoned for a long time, but suddenly 
um, a, there was a gunshot. Right. A man was trying to kill a bird. Right. And some men, probably thinking that they had been discovered, ran out of their hiding place and were trying to escape. But thanks to the help of um, Okada men, they were able to capture the men. Police avoided them being lynched. Right. They searched the building and found ropes, long ropes, um, clothes, underwear for women, um, utensils, thing, yes, things that indicated that people have been tied up and held there for a while. Right. Nobody was you found know, there. What, but is, what is sad is that it's within the government house, mm. behind the, the Ganifa Emi Arcade, an event center within. How is it? How come is nobody possible? discovered? People are saying we should be more observant right. now. Like we if should. you see things, if and you should start with government. Right. And I think that there was a time that Gov Nobody said about um, abandoned buildings because we know that usually people use a lot of abandoned buildings for things exactly. like this. Mm -hmm. So why don't we, you know? Oh, Biano, I wanted to talk about something about abandoned buildings on, you know, on developed buildings like that where you know being. I wanted to quickly congratulate the customs. You know, they said that they, they, they made about 239 billion naira in the first quarter of this year. Right. And this happened, the, 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 their target was, they, they exceeded their target by about 46 billion naira. That's good. That and this happened just based on restructuring, locking down certain things. So you can imagine if, because Nigerians and we yet, import. The National Assembly wants to focus on wearing uniform and not wearing uniform. Do you understand? When somebody's actually Hospital. working. Working and restructuring and making sure that everything is in place. Okay, we on. need to clean up our customs. We'll fashion make money. a lot of money. Fasha, that, that was very quickly. Fasha was just saying that he was talking about the national assembly. said they are ignorant the of the start. Like, like, there was a word he used. E, well, e, let yeah. me quickly say the, the, the story. He answered the uh, national assembly saying that, you know, the, this budget that they had brought, the MDAs had come and defended this budget. And right. then you altered the budget, right. altering major contracts, major, ma ma uh, major projects. The Lagos Ibadan, the the Bida Road, and you know major uh, the the, the uh, Mambila uh, power project. Mm. That you when you alter these major projects like that, and then you focus on bo uh, bo uh, primary yeah. healthcare centers. You know that you know th these alterations, and they replied and said, you know they did the alterations based on concession, and he said there's no concession anymore on these roads. Mm. All right, look at the contract, and you know they 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 they, they lack. They the don't get time for sense. Yeah, knowledge. <laughs> that's that <laughs> is that is the nation. <laughs> <laughs> IBB back state police, more powerful states. Uh, the drums of war are easy to beat, but their rhythms are difficult to dance. Starting wars of political upheavals come with the slightest provocation, but ending them becomes inelastic, almost unending with painful footages of the wrecks of war. I have been involved, and its, rip and its ripples are tellingly unpalatable with gory details of destruction and carnage. That's um, the Egypt evil genius. Oh, that's, that's the IBB so talking there. Understood. Rao, over 701 billionaire Jenko's loans. Amnesty program gains more ground and suspected Evans gun supplier under probe. Now, IBBs, obviously it's singing fitting. the song of restructuring. Mm -hmm. Everybody, National Assembly, we have been uh, the PDP governors are agreeing with the APC governors that we need to. So the whole of Nigeria, except the executive, I've not, not seen the acting president or even the president himself endorsed in any way restructuring. We need fiscal restructuring, we do. But we, do, we cannot just have a restructuring where they will do sharing formula restructuring. Mm. Like he said, we need uh, you know, state policing. These are the kind of areas we should be focusing yes. on. But some people's concern about restructuring is that my area, we are not getting enough of this you know the right. fear of national cake. And you know, we cannot the, continue to encourage yeah. the, corruption. The fear like of that. state policing is because of our nature and because we don't understand. We, we can't trust power. the system that there might be abuse of power, especially right. during political seasons. Right, but right. You, cannot, you cannot isolate the fear that of the every, Yes. You cannot say because of fear of the unknown, you will not do what is proper. Right. Every state should have their own security. People said that um, all these uh, federal roads, yes, state no. road is archaic. Mm. That we need everybody but to they, start they taking responsibility there. of their, uh, their regions. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't mind. I think that but, but whichever way we restructure, if we still have the same people carrying out the same action of lack of good governance well, see, right it's now. It's easier for them to them to them to them Because they're not all the way there. They are here with us. Yes, so no. is we can galvanize our, 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 ourselves and then go to them and say, no, we want you out. But this one, they're all doing Abuja. You're just you're, you're a small voice speaking, and it's it, 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 um, it's not it's not heard. Moving on to Vanguard, it's time to restructure Nigeria. Says Babangida, <laughs> uh, Lagos school kidnap day 34. Hmm. Hmm. Police trail kingpin in America. I don't know where America is, but okay, maybe the name of the kingpin is America, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Uh, man abducts and exchanges 10 year old boy for three bags of rice. Hmm. Huh. 16 die in University of Maiduguri suicide bombings. And uh, Nigeria faces epidemics as 63 million lack access to safe water. Quick notice, Ohanese ECA pipe up slam, Kokonso. 
Right. So, so the him, the, 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 the young ten boy. boy. Yeah. Yes. Ten year old boy. The little boy. Um, they didn't mention his name. They also didn't mention the kidnap the person that abducted him's name. Um, it, the boy the, the boy was sent by his mom to buy granite oil and while walking the man claimed to be a relative to the Cousin, boy yeah. and took the boy all the way to where they sell a shop where they sell rice right. collected three bags of rice and say let him wait i'll come back and pick him with the money forty eight thousand naira is the value and after a few hours the shop owner now asked the boy that where is your your parents shop when, when are they bringing the money to? And I said, my parents don't have a shop. I went to a shop. I went to buy groundnut oil. The woman noticed she was calmed. Um, I think that well, generally we're happy that it was not a kidnapping, that the kind of regular kidnapping right. we see. This what, what, spells more of hunger it, kind of yes, issues. Yes, and what, what was even interesting, okay, the guy was actually, he didn't collect the three bags immediately. He first of all took one bag mm. and said, ah, let me go and bring it out right back. So because he came back, she already trusted that, okay, this guy is going to come back. So I said, the madam wants two more bags. So let me leave the boy. Let me take the two bags. Uh, and I'll come back and pay. So she was not shocked that the guy never showed after hours. Mm. A lot of but lessons to learn. Lessons to go learn. back and tell our the, children yes. right. about strangers. Because we, mm. you know, there was a time that when we were growing up, everybody was saying, don't talk to strangers. Mm. But we became a little bit relaxed. Right now, we need to get back to that message because again. Because that is the only thing I, I pointed out. That the boy, somebody just comes and introduces himself as your cousin, cousin. and you just take it hook, line, yeah. and think. It, doesn't make, it doesn't make sense. I want to quickly talk about the water um, epidemic that we are facing. From, I think it's um, UNICEF's report. They said, according to the statistics, about 130,000 children, Nigerian children, die annually as a result of water-related issues. Yeah. And they were, they were averaging that the, the average um, family of four, the cost at, um, of drinking portable water is really high. Right. You know, these are things that when we say good governance, we shouldn't be hearing basic. things like this. These are basic things that should happen Things that naturally. if we are restructured, yes. it wouldn't be a problem. It will not be a problem, my sister. <laughs> we can't be losing lives like that. We don't to do this. <laughs> Since everybody's singing restructured now, we might as well be singing it every day. Mm -hmm. 16 <laughs> killed in multiple Borno suicide attacks. Um, heads to roll in police over Evans' armed robbery case. Nigeria will meet rice demand by of, of 6.1 million tons this year, says CBN. Mm. Nobody has the right to issue quick notice, says WK. If you're not happy with the president, vote him out, says Oni. Mm. We must restructure now, says IBB. All right, so which one are we taking? The, um, headline. In Maiduguri yes. uh, yesterday, there were suicide um, attacks and nine... Sorry, seven suicide bombers killed nine people, making all of them total of about 16. That's how I took the story in the point. Right. Unfortunately, in the witness, uh, eyewitness report, people were sc so scared that they slept in the open right. because for fear of, you know, right. attacks. They went into the hostels. The first attack was from a, a man around 10 p.m. Hmm. And they started like that continuously. Right. Then seven other ladies continued. Right. It's just so sad. Yeah. We yeah. thought that you know they had beefed up security because of the festivals. We, yeah, you know this, exactly. Uh, these people would. Take we already know that once it's after the yeah. Ramadan yes. Salah period, they always attack. Yeah. All right, this Evans. Remember, Jamaka was saying yesterday, which was she mentioned something about the fact that the police that let Evans go in Imo. Mm. Yes. That that that. that and I was trying to make her feel that okay, that was the old police, that is new police, but the, but actually right now the IGB has inspo, is instructed that they should go and investigate in fact, who the police is that let him go because if he had been arrested then. He won't probably continue to have mentioned the, the, the um, investigating officer that took the investigate that right. arrested him in Lagos right. here right. mentioned that you know the way a manner that the lady came to Lagos and ordered that they stop investigating and went to Imo. Then they, they then ordered for Evans to be transferred, transferred. to Imo. Imo so it's that very pushy. She begged him. That, her name is Tina. She begged him that he's my person, he's my brother, that she mm. should you know, let him hand come over to Imo. And they just found out later that he was released. Mm. Was so so they are, the police is going to investigate to, easy, to know yeah, exactly I've always what said happened. it that this Evans case, big, big fishes inside the security, uh, our security he's, personnel would, should, he, would be arrested. And, it's very simple. important. And now. finally on that, on that, on, on, in Sun, um, CBN had said that um, we, we are right in, we're currently producing 5 million tons of rice and by the end of the year would have hit 6.1 million and that should be self-sufficient for Nigerians. so That's pretty fantastic. excited about I, that i don't uh, right self-sufficiency until we the prices drop to the point where yes so for self sufficiency it's good right. but the prices are still high right so let's still right. wait okay our final paper which is this day ibb backs restructuring as jonathan urges caution against hate speech fashola national assembly's personal tax failed to address issues i raised Supreme Court cases it takes 15 years to deliver judgment in land dispute. Hmm. And delays in gas projects hinder addition of 20 megawatts to national greed. That's all we can take on this day. When we come back, our hot topic today, we ask if you can allow your husband to try his luck outside. Hmm. And later on, let's talk, we discuss...
the rise of infertility in men. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So, recently, a lady on social media tweeted, you and your husband have been married for 20 years, no child. It's only normal for you to allow him to impregnate another girl outside. Hmm. He has tried 20 years. <laughs> so, with the growing concerns of women who have stayed long in marriages and with no issue and neither any fault of theirs, should they go along with the Twitter users' advice of allowing their husbands try their luck, or even they too trying their own luck elsewhere. It's your view. Let it count. You can call us on 070 8066 You can also tweet to us at TPC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Now, it's difficult for anyone of us here to put ourselves in the shoes of somebody who doesn't have kids because we do have kids. But when you're faced with that kind of situation, as alien as it sounds to us, for somebody, it becomes an option for it somebody who option. is seeking for a child. Yeah, because you it. feel, well, it's, just, it's an option. It's either you adopt or you go outside. It becomes an option. Now, in your own, with, the, with this Twitter's um, comments, Advice. what are your thoughts? Do you, do you agree? Do you disagree? What, what are your general thoughts on this? Well, I, have, I have considered it before. My waiting period. Oh, was you did? Not, yes. Oh. Uh, you know, I took um, fertility treatment and it was my own problem. But imagine if it was my husband's problem, because I thought about it. The Nigerian thing normally is that men refuse to face the reality of having to go to a gynecologist and even finding out they have a problem. So their problems are undiscovered. It is the woman that drinks the agbo. Someone once gave me a water, a family member gave me a, a kind of a strange water and said, clean, rub all, all over your body so that you have kids. And I was like, excuse me? Because <laughs> I'm supposed to be the one with the problem. She'll come, she'll say, okay, are you hot? Do you usually have hot, uh, you know, a, a, a flush? Uh, do you, 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 I say, yes, sometimes I'm, she'll touch my hand. Yeah, you're very warm. Ah, is that thing? So we'll give you water. So it's usually the woman's problem. So I sat one day and thought that, what if I had, I had to settle, come to closure on that one, that if it happens, if I would say, okay, go and do your test. But the, uh, what if it's also, if it was this problem, will I be allowed within a marriage to go and try out? Mm. So that's the problem. If it's this problem, we'll face it but together. you as a wife considered that your husband I considered might try it, to go yes. out? A family, a family friend had mentioned him? it before that she had to allow her husband and that the nine kids her husband had in their marriage were not hers. Wow. That they were from the other wife. So when mine started, I was like, am I going on Mr. Seller's way? Mm. Is it possible that you know it will happen? Right. And I opened my heart to it that if it happens, it's okay. welcome. All right. Do you understand? So okay. sometimes it might have to be the solution. You have okay. to be magnanimous well, for somebody, enough to let me accept come to the children. Now, for somebody who's had a child for twenty years, that's a long time. I don't mm. think it is a solution. Okay. Um, I think that there are many options, and it's happened in the Bible. You know where Abraham gave um, Sarah. Sarah gave. Um, I made are made to Abraham, you know, that I can't have a child, live with my maid, you know. So, we because it's been there's a pre precedence, precedence yes. to it, we can fall on that as a solution. But you could also adopt, there are many, many mm. children out there that they are they can't they don't have anyone to lay claim on them. So, there is room for legitimate adoption, both of you together. Uh, for me, and based on my religion, marriage is between two people and you become one. So everything we're doing, when we bring in a third party that because I want to have a child, let's source for somebody outside to help you out to have a child. Is the child now going to be a nuclear family child or then we'll now bring a third party into the party or you marry the woman? There are a lot of complications involved that would complicate your life as a whole. Mm. Um, well, wouldn't you rather that than just being childless? Because sometimes yeah. there's this thing of, 
as the man, I want the blood of my body, the bone because of my bone, my blood, that kind of problem. thing. So the cultural problem of like, I am a man, I want my blood, I want my We've whole seen flesh. people that have, that their own children have given them hypertension and frustrated their life. Right. And we've seen, I know, I grew up with someone that was adopted. And, I, and as an adult, as, as I was a teenager, I felt bad that people still refer to her that she was adopted. Right. It doesn't, it shouldn't be. Right. I really, really felt That's bad. society. But, but the thing is, she is right now a full-grown adult with children and she's taking good care of those people that adopted her. People now don't know that she was adopted, but I, because I grew up, I knew that we, they were always pointing figure that her. Ah, she didn't have children. They adopted her. They adopted her, but she's not taking good care of them. It is about how you nurture your child. Do you understand? It's about how you nurture the child. Put the child in pressure. I mean, <coughs> she survived, but some families... So how how do you nurture okay. the child? All right. I you wonder what to go for. Parenting, for me, is very key. And this is where it plays, you know, the, a very huge role. The truth is that regardless of who is biologically linked to a child. Do you understand? Anybody can become anybody's child, um, parent. So it depends on how you nurture that child. So having said that, you know, when, you, when you're faced with... Um, Consider culture, who are? I understand. But you see, that's what we are trying to break. And that is the essence of this show, is to help people understand that there are better options. Right. Mm. Do you understand? Because we cannot keep on doing things the same way and expect to have different results. Mm. It's not possible. We've had cases of people that your own biological child, was it not a, a, a man's son that uh, used the knife and stabbed, the, killed the father and stabbed the mother? That biological the biological blood. Blood, blood child. So it's not a function of whether the child is um, biologically linked Can to you really or not. That child it is, is how you have, I mean, it is how you, how you a child is born um, clean. It is what you put into that child that would eventually become who that child um, now people will see. If a man, for instance, is... Um, Inf what's the word now? Infertile. Has infertile. Uh, is infertile. He has infertility issues. Would you say now as a man, okay, my wife, oh yeah, I'm the one that has the problem. Would you tell me that, okay, go outside and go and so have, men do it. get pregnant? Some men do it. Some men see. do it, but right. you see... Oh, no, no, not some men do it. Some women know. That no, some because, men allow it. Okay, maybe some women... Okay, just, I, just I read, to cover, because okay. you know, some people are tattooed men. Right. They, it cannot be heard right. that a, that's, tattoo, a chief right. is infertile. Now, I wonder okay, to... Let, let me just tell you a story I heard related to that. I know, the, I, I know of a woman, too, who her husband had the issue, but her husband did not want her to know that he had the issue. But she knew her husband had the issue because she had aborted a child back in the university. Mm. So she knew there was no issue with her own fertility. So they were covering it up for many years. But eventually... She went out to have a uh, child. And her husband knew, but they both were acting as if they didn't know. That's where we go that's to. That's the last move arrangement. Now, on culture, let me explain certain things. As Africans, it is important, sanctity of the home, of the family line, the bloodline is extremely important. Mm. That's why we frown at adoption. When you see uh, in, in Africa, what you usually would look at, you, you want to make sure that is the woman that has the problem and then the man looks for an alternative even if he must take a child outside it will be a family member's child who is linked directly it used to be the not in england right. see the you are the england of a once upon a time it has to be by bloodline that you inherit that's how it was in, yeah, but we've in, gone past that. no no they that? have okay we've not gotten there okay. certain beliefs are surrounded in islam for instance now you cannot adopt a person's child that you know is not biologically yours right. and give that child your name because the child is entitled to his father's name you want to stop the father's bloodline so adoption in islam is you you take care of a child but you give that child to the owner so it, it doesn't matter whether you have your biological one or not. You don't just take the name of yours right. and plaster on someone else's child. So those are the norms. People based are walking around it. This on my religion. Right. We've found a way around it. You can adopt, train the child for the purpose of, you know, training the child, not for the purpose of having your name. Okay, let me take this call from Blessing. Blessing, are you there? Blessing? From my papa? Hello? Blessing? Go ahead, please. Yeah, okay. You know, what you said, <laughs> my point that I'm trying to drive at is if we must change things, let us start today. Because you cannot tell me as a man eh, that if you are the one that have issues, you will tell me to go outside. So that woman at making that kind of suggestion, I think, you know, first of all, we need to uh, analyze her psychologically. If there is infertility issues, there are many options. There is, we've heard of cases where a woman is unable to house the pregnancy. 
you can surrogate. take i mean there are surrogacy there are so many options you need to ex see this going outside yeah, is the easiest way easy for us to say oh. but yeah, the poor yeah. man out there doesn't understand so we need to break this issue of bloodline because what, what, that's religion, what we are saying religion now religion one side but the issue of it has to be Culturally. my blood Morally. that Morally. blood thing is where we're saying that do we must it be your people blood? have issues with blood is because they feel that my genealogy i'm raised well my own child will carry like oh they, they some some bloodlines have insanity some bloodlines have some funny um, um genetic illnesses so but you know yourself you understand what comes with you you can trace it that is one of the main reasons we say okay let's well, is that keep that the new knowledge that's why it's telling us that about how you train the it child you even if the child. there are medical issues so there are new technologies so so a lot of people are already considering the option of adoption but most of them are doing it hypocritically. So they say they travel out. A lot of people, they travel out for nine months. As they got pregnant, they traveled out. It's a lie. It was adoption. And they come back and they come with a child. What I, ha what I hate is, why do you need to hide to do it? Because of society. Because Takwe. of society. We need to stop and break from this. Jalingo. Good morning. Are you there? Yeah, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I'm the seventh time caller. Seventh time caller. Welcome, Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the show. show. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. Yeah. I want to contribute by saying that you know, marriage is all about getting children. Eh, thank ah. you. First of all, it's the law that is the major thing. We say that all the time. Then, because in Africa, everybody will be thinking after one year, they will say, ah, nothing is happening, I want to carry my grandchild. Bill Clinton, America, adopted a, a daughter called Chelsea. Mm -hmm. And they are living well, they are living fine. Now, the major thing to, to, to get the, the, the problem solved is for the husband and wife to sit down and Hiring it out, I think it will be better. Thank you. And Mr. always, it's not only about the woman. A man can also be, be having a problem. Right. So, so don't want yes, to accept right. so that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you Talking very much. about culture, I have, I, I am married now, right? I have two children. I have two boys. This one, where is down near me this morning? <laughs> Attacked me and she was accusing me. Talk where? Uh, when are you having a gay? You need a gay. You see, there's also this pressure from outside. Because I cannot imagine after 20 years of staying without a child, you now tell me after 20 years that it is now time for the man to, if you even wanted to do it, it would not even be now. It would have been maybe the early years of marriage. There's also pressure from outside. A lot of people putting pressure. You see somebody just got married. You start looking at the person's tummy. You're waiting for the, the time the tummy will be big but, and all that. Think, this, it is wrong. This is a Thursday topic, obviously, because we need more time. But the question, nobody has answered my question. I, only, I think only Nima tried. Would you, if you're in that situation, I, said I, I will not allow it. Oh, I, 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 I don't agree. So I, don't, I don't see it as an option. Okay, Murayo, huh. how do we? When you analyze marriage, you at the point you get married, few years down that you have children, give or take the next twenty years, the children will leave you. Who are you left with? Your you husband. and your husband. Huh. So I think we focus on the fact that the, having children is all there is to marriage. It is not. Marriage is companionship between a man and his wife. They would live all the years together. Nima is going to visit his her parents. They are together, husband and wife. So right. I think we should focus on the fact that this is the issue of marriage. Through it, we would raise godly children. That right. If they come, fine. If they don't, fine. Why? I hope uh -uh. we can end on that. <laughs> <laughs> when we come back, we continue the infertility issue, but this time in men. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So infertility in both male and female have been a concern through the ages. In the issue of infertility, when women are always blamed, but according to research, hmm, men should also be held accountable. Another report has it that infertility affects an estimated 15% of couples globally, amounting to about 48.5 million couples. Male and uh, are also found to be solely responsible for 20 to 30 percent of infertility cases and contribute to 50 percent of cases overall. Now, joining us on the show is a medical doctor, Professor Ola Dakbo Ashiro. Welcome to the show, sir. Welcome Thank to the you. show. Welcome, sir. You can, yes, you can call us on 070 8066801. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we, can, so we can read your tweet. Now, the issue of infertility, men, as we said earlier. Our culture doesn't allow men to express the true situation of their uh, fertility issues. Now, 
as a doctor, give us an idea what infertility in men, what does it mean? How, what, what, how, many, how many sperms are produced? What exactly does it mean, infertility in men? Um, infertility in a man is inability to have a child through conception. Right. Mm. And as a matter of fact, we now know that this is in terms of equality, 50% on each side, wow. Wow. both male and female. And the WHO is now very conscious of this fact. And I'm happy that you are focusing on it this morning because it is now recognized that the men should be in the front burner right. of addressing infertility mm. because it's been made the responsibility of the women for so long. Mm. And there are so many reasons where this could occur. Right. But infertility could be, in fact, inability hmm. to serious. have Conception. intercourse, intercourse. Mm. which is from erectile dysfunction. Mm. And then it could be due to absent or no sperm at all. Mm. When the sperm is absent or it's not there, or when the sperm is now low, mm. very small amount. Mm. And the good news is that most of the cases of infertility can now be treated. Mm. Now, um, we know, we read that it, for, for a man to conceive, it's about the quality and the quantity of the sperm that is produced. What causes that low the count. low sperm count and even lack of quality of the sperm able to swim to the egg? What causes these things? Uh, that is a very good question. And if you, I listened to your discussion earlier on, mm. and um, it is the, we are paying for the, for the, uh, for the, for the technological development. There are so many causes. For example, in, and it's always been there, um, the causes of infertility can be characterized in two simple ways. Things that are caused because of what we eat, things that are caused because of what we do, or things in the environment. Let me, uh, uh, what we do, sexually transmitted infection hmm. is one reason because you have unprotected intercourse and you can have this and transmit infection right. such as gonorrhea and chlamydia. Mm. And this will block the sperm passage wow. irreversibly. Mm. And then it does the same thing in the female. Then the next thing is what you also do in terms of occupation. Mm. And that is a lot. There are several occupational hazards in the environment. Uh, for example, as recent as now putting the laptop on the thigh, mm -hmm. on the thigh mm -hmm. wow. is generating heat. Mm -hmm. And the fact is there is no sin greater than ignorance. Mm -hmm. And many of the things that is happening that we are witnessing infertility are preventable with earlier knowledge. So uh, the next thing is in the oil producing areas, we now see a lot of patients with oil forces mm. affecting the sperm production process. Mm. And then the next level is in terms of stress alone. Mm. Okay? And I will list many of them. So you For example, for sexually mm. transmitted disease, putting the laptop on, on your yeah. 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 Oil. Oil. Yeah, go ahead. the use of cell phone. Yeah, because I heard Edition. cell phones in the pocket as well. Absolutely. You know, affect the, the quality of the, the sperm. Quality. But you know, the thing is, because we were talking earlier, and I was saying that, you know, uh, instead of going out to go and have um, intercourse with somebody else because you're trying to have a child, why don't we look for other medical op um, options? You know, can you, I mean, how expensive, first of all, is it? What to, are the options? Yes, to try medical aid for um, getting pregnant. And mm -hmm. um, are there like healthy lifestyles that you can begin to adopt to improve the quality if they say, okay, there's infidelity in the, in the matter, maybe the kind of, I mean, infertil infertility, <laughs> yes. you know, the imp to yes. improve the quality and all that. Is there, yes. Are there healthy Hel food for and mm. things you can do as a man? Correct, correct. Healthy lifestyle is very important. Okay. Uh, for example, people think that they are living healthy in the, in the early times, 
post the end of the civilized period, and now they put things like sweeteners. Mm. Mm. They say they're drinking Diet Coke. Mm. Ha. It's not been shown that the, uh, the, the substance yes, yes. used to make these things are toxic to the sperm. Whoa. Mm. Alcohol drinking, smoking, these are healthy things that you can do to make sure that your sperm is normal. And one very important one, which is a very, very uh, uh, noteworthy one, is that if you are pregnant and you have a young, ba young boy and you go and visit somebody who has mom's infection, hmm. and if your boy gets mom's, he is going to have permanent testicular damage. Jeez. Okay. Wait, say yeah. that again, please. Please, moms. Yeah, what moms. Moms. Explain moms. what moms is. Moms is a communicable disease mm -hmm. when the, uh, the cheeks open. are swelling yeah. up. Yes. It should be treated quickly because if it's not treated, it can go to the testes of the young boy. Of the young boy and cause moms' orchitis. Mm. Mm. And moms' orchitis is a permanent damage the testes. Whoa. If you have a boy that is born, as soon as that baby is born, check the two testicles to make sure they are there. Mm. Sometimes it's not descended from the abdomen. Mm. So if it is not descended, within a year or two, you need to operate that baby and bring down the testicles, the testicles to the scrotum. If you don't, that baby is going to have infertility. So, so you, 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 in, your, in your conversation, I picked two, two things. Now, recently, and the first time, you mentioned um, sweetness. Yes. And you know, it's you know, they usually blame uh, male infertility on sweetness or the male sexual dysfunction on sweetness. That you know, too, you, they take too much sugar. And the traditional way is to have alternative <laughs> herbal medicine. I've seen a lot of times where people are made to take very terrible, you know, Sweet. bitter, bitter tasting. tasting medicine to treat whatever they think the sweetness might have caused. Do you agree? Is it an option? Then number two, you mentioned that, you know, bringing down, um, when you have a male child, you need to check the testicles. Routinely, do the doctors do that at the point of birth? Or should, would parents really know? So who's, whose responsibility is it to help check a newborn, a baby, newborn yeah. baby? Well, if you have a newborn baby, you should go to the doctor regularly in the first six months of pregnancy, uh, of, of, of her growing up, mm. of his growing up, to make sure that the, uh, she, he gets all the vaccines that he needs, mm. yes. and then he gets routine pediatric examination. And those are the things that the doctors will check mm. at the visitation to make sure that it's fully descended. Mm. And then the other part you talked about regarding... Drinking uh, abo. Abo. <laughs> they, You see, there is a lot of value in in bitter things, a uh, bitter cola nod, and those type of Swedish bitters, because the gallbladder is a very, very powerful healing organ of the body right. that people don't know. And if it's working properly, you'll be fine. But okay. moving, yes, Wait, go on. Finish finish now? Now? <laughs> finish, the, the but moving things. to that, these are the preventable areas of uh, male infertility. Uh, another critical one is that when you work in some industries, hmm. like the paint industries, hmm, like the um, plastic paint. industries, hmm. cement, cement, spray, spray you paint. must, the employers should give them protective coverings. Hmm. Because the paint industry will, anybody who works there, who has not had a child, a man, needs to be very careful Disposed. and protect himself. Mm. And if you paint your house, if you use insecticides in the fumigate. house, if you really? fumigate, mm. you need to make sure that it settles down for some time before you go, go in. in. Because those are things that are spermatogenically ah. toxic. All right, All right. Thank you very much. So, um, huh. we live in a society that does not um, encourage men to be vulnerable. So, even when a man knows that he has confirmed that there are medic he has medically, medical infertility issues, he is not able to open up and get care that might be able to solve it. And in the, one of the first few things you said was that we, most, most infertility issues related to men can be treated, thankfully, right now. So 
maybe when we come back, I would like you to break down how a woman who sees that she's gone through everything can approach a man for treatment and also help us encourage men that if they have what, what can what they can do easily how to get the right doctors that would get them treated right maybe we should start from the approach to uh, that you know in your experience <coughs> your working experience what's the approach of men, men. To okay. facing this and then okay the um the the important thing is that most men are afraid to find out when they know they have infertility mm. because they don't know it can be treated Oh. Yes. Now with the advent of uh, technology and with men realizing that infertility in men are treatable, right. mm. some men are now coming, coming forward. Out. Yes. And I, 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 I listened to you earlier on when you said that a woman should go to, uh, the, each one should give each other the opportunity to, to, go and try outside. to go and try outside. The technology has been able to come to the aid Mm -hmm. of the population Thank right. you. and WHO and United Nations now recognize the fact that having a baby is a human rights issue right so the infrastructure should be available to Help. enable them to access baby. such technology okay, let me take a quick break when we come back we we'll take your calls and tweets stay with us we'll be right back stay tuned your view Thanks for staying with us. So, um, I remember I... Oh, there was a question? Mm -hmm. Yes, we also talk about how to prevent... I asked about um, mm -hmm. how accessible the treatments are and how to prevent them. Right. Good. Now, um, infertility treatment is very accessible today in this country. Okay. Um, we now know that some of the infertility problems can be treated with low technology. Mm. That is just going to a doctor and giving you some medications and giving you some basic lifestyle modification mm. like losing weight mm. and things like that mm. and then telling you the right time for ovulation and the rest. Mm. But the complex technology, they are now available in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We pioneered this technique in 1989 in Nigeria with the first test to baby. Since then, there are now almost 70 IVF centers in this country. Mm. Okay. Now, these technologies are available and they are, when you compare to the, wor the rest of the, the world, they are very reasonably priced. Right. Mm. All over the world, the global standard for IVF cost is about $5,000, mm. uh, which translates to maybe um, two million naira mm -hmm. in Nigeria, or slightly less, but most people are charging uh, less than that. Maybe about one million to right. one point. Uh, so. yeah. Let me take this call very quickly from Dari. Dari, are you there? Yes. Please. Thanks Morning. for calling. Go ahead, please. Yes. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm a testament caller. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Uh, I just want to make from from my own personal experience. From my personal experience, I'd like all men to know that I'd like all men to know that there's no shame in opening up to your wife that you are a bit infertile. Mm. Personally, I was in, I had a problem, okay. and when I got to know, at the time I was proposing to my wife, and I went for a checkup, and I thought I was a bit infertile. Mm. I had those fan counts precisely. I had to sit her down. I had to take the courage. Because to me, it never made sense punishing a, uh, my wife or my wife to be when right. I had a problem. Right. So fantastic. Thank I you very much. so much for sharing. Thank you very much, Terry, for sharing. In the alternative to IVF, what are the other forms of you know treatments available? And like who have emphasized, is there a detoxif is this detoxification method that you can mm. do that? In addition to that, because my husband had to, was advising somebody, a friend, who had was who had um they hadn't hadn't had a child. 
after about a few years in marriage, it was that kind of listen, eat beans, plenty beans, <laughs> eat beans and be exercising. When you, have, when you do that, you have, <laughs> and I'm like, how do you, are you like, a doctor? <laughs> but you're insisting that you should be eating beans Monday, Tuesday, every day. You know, so do you agree me, with that? Let me tell you something. Uh, it is now clear and well known from some of the reports we published in India last year right. that having a, a child for the husband and the woman mm. is like expecting an important guest in your house. Mm. If you expect a, an important visitor to come and stay with you, what is the first thing you would do? You prepare, clean you up prepare, the house. You clean up the house, you get everywhere ready. So, women must clean themselves, Men. detoxify, so must the man. And when they do that, they will be healthy and mm. the, the baby that is coming will find it a good environment to stay. Mm. And what are we cleaning? We are cleaning bad food. Let me quickly hurry up on that. Right. Bad food, misconceptions about too much fruit. Mm. We think that fruit is healthy. But the World Health Organization says that it's only 250 grams of food that you of uh, fruits, fruits that you need in yeah. a day, which is like a quarter of a big apple or just one small apple. Mm. But most people think that fruits are healthy, so they begin to mix smoothies mm. and drink it. You see, in this <laughs> cup like this of orange juice, yeah, you have up. about <laughs> nine to ten cubes of sugar. Mm. How many of us want to take 10 cubes of sugar in one go? Mm. But we drink about two of these cups, and what does it do? It goes to some of these organs. It spoils those organs completely. Mm. That is how you end up having polycystic ovary. Mm. That's when you have diabetes mm. affecting conception. So, and then there are some things that we have, heavy metals, mm. that can affect our fertility, both sperm can, both erectile function and both ovulatory, like fish, stockfish, all those things. The American Society, the WH United Nations, we now okay. know that when you want to correct, when okay. you want to have a baby, yeah. you should not stay away from those large fish because of the heavy metals like mercury. Hmm. So don't eat stockfish. The stockfish one, in particular <laughs> is loaded with mercury. Hey, so whoa. and e e do the dried one. Yeah, yes, yeah. and if you have to use those things, if you have to eat them at all, I would think that if you want to have a, a baby, just about two months of that, stay away from it. Okay. But if you want to have it at all, you must soak that stockfish overnight hmm. in water, right. hot water to allow all oh, those make, uh, heavy metals to get out of it. The same thing with rice more, more, more. that has arsenic. <laughs> rice, rice has arsenic. And asterisk is toxic to the embryo. Yeah. Mm. So, so most people eat? who are having infertility... Can eat beans? Mo, uh, well, you should eat well. What does eating well mean? Balance. Mm -hmm. Eat balanced food. <coughs> vegetables. Uh, vegetables in small amount. Protein, in meat small in small amount. amount and uh, carbohydrate in small, in small amount. amount. Balance. But also, you should know the food that is good for you. Mm. The food of a fisherman is poison to a blacksmith. Mm. Right. So just because somebody says beans, 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 it's okay. Maybe those ones, they have, um, they cannot metabolize carbohydrates mm. properly. So it's good for them. But some may need a balanced level, may need some bit of carbohydrate. So seeing a good doctor, and that is why uh, we now recommend a complete detoxification. Yeah. In our mm -hmm. center, in our IVF center, people come in for IVF, they don't get pregnant. We ask them to go to a detox center, okay. which is a medical one because there are different types of gestation. It should be a medical one. Okay. They go there. They come back and they get pregnant. They come back, they take the remaining embryo, and they are pregnant. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they've so detoxified all the they've toxins. They've cleansed Absolutely. the system. They've Absolutely. cleansed the house. Thank wow. you so much. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tweets, please. Take a tweet, tweet. <laughs> for a no, no, no. ah. internet. Okay. So which rice would you... So brown rice is good, though. Brown rice is good. 
uh, white rice is good. People it's have a lot of questions. People, Abu Bakr Osman said, what lifestyle could be adopted by men to put things in control? Okay, I think you've answered that now. already. Adebayo on the title says, we have to be careful with what we consume on our lifestyle to avoid infertility. So, Brown Sugar is asking, is weak erection same as infertility? I think he has answered that by saying yes. Mm -hmm. Then, um, is there a treatment for a girl with small uterus and, and can't conceive? Yes. Yes. Okay, we have to round up, unfortunately. Uh, we have, yeah, let's, let's you can take a few he seconds. Said, can you talk about what, uh, azospermia? Is there anything like that? Yes, no, that's no no sperm. Sperm. No no sperm. Sperm. Okay, we have to round up. But I think we've learned that... Um, um, don't well, the general things we've learned don't put laptops on your, on your, on your, on your thighs, yes. Don't put your phones, those things um, can reduce your radiation. 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 What else did he yes. Fumes from when you, you walk, walk in a paint factory, factory. I think it's industry. general toxin. General and also, toxin. remember the part the analogy, the illustration that you gave it's like you're bringing a guest, a special guest. The yes. baby, it's like the baby, like a special guest. So, yes. you have to clean the house, yeah. mm -hmm. get prepared and ready for the guest. So, yes. remember, husband has to be cleaned, wife has to be cleaned in preparation for this Absolutely. new guest. So, and that guest will stay there for a long time, long time. Yeah. because oh. if it's not clean if you go and visit somebody and the environment is not good you say oh i have something to do oh. <laughs> all but right that's all we can take on the show i hope you <laughs> learned as much as we did goodness yeah, we need the part two of this matter yes. because people need this information yeah. have a lovely day we'll see you tomorrow bye bye, bye.